Hey everyone! Today we will look at Arturia pigments. This scent is great for sound design and creating huge cinematic sounds. I find it a fantastic instrument to get inspiration from, especially if you need new ideas. And so today I give you an example of how you can create interesting synth sounds with it. I have here a chord progression and I have pigments. Pigments is on a default setting. It sounds now like this. And what I like to do is to make a more interesting sound. First, we have a look at pigments. So you see uh, it has uh, two different engines and in the engines, you can decide what kind of synthesizer you are using. So I can use an analog synthesizer. I can use a wavetable. I can use a sampler. And you have here also a harmonic oscillator. For this tutorial, I will use an analog synthesizer, so I already will go on analog. Now it's time to create my sound. So here are three oscillators, and here you see different waveforms that you can choose from. I really like to use a sort of waveform for the sound that I want to make, because it has more harmonics, and I can use subtractive synthesis to get all the harmonics out and modulate them. And now the third one. And with the third one, I will go up seven steps. Here on the left is unison, and I have now one voice for the oscillator, but I can go up to eight. So let's do that. This is really nice. Now I want to add some noise because the noise will give a more rich sound and especially when I start to move the sound. You have three different types of color and you can also move in between them. So this is red. White. Blue. I go now for the white noise because I really like this the most. Now it's time to modulate my sounds. I have here two filters. I will activate my second filter as well. Here I can also decide different filter types. For now I will take the multi-mode filter because with the multi-mode I have more possibilities and also a steeper slope. And for my modulation I need a steeper slope. First, we start to modulate the cutter filter with an LFO. Here is my first LFO. I go here to assign and I say assign cutoff. And I can decide here how much I want from the modulation. Now I want to adjust my LFO. So I go here and you see here the different waveforms that I can choose from. And here's random, so you can really change them. Yeah, you can change the rate. Now it's on bipolar, so you see your start position is here in the middle, and uh, the LFO is reacting to the left side and to the right side. If you don't want this, you can set this on unipolar. So now you see your start uh, position is still the same, but only the modulation will happen here now on the right side. Now it's time for the second modulation, and I will give this also an LFO. I will adjust the LFO now, and I put also the resonance a little bit up. So now the resonance also needs the LFO cycle here, and then we can make movement in this resonance. There's also a panning, and for panning, I like to use a function generator. So I can assign the function here to the pan. With this function generator, uh, you have the possibility to draw your modulation in. You have also different presets you can use. I will choose now this one. The synth sound sounds already really interesting and rich, but we can make it even more interesting. So we go now to the second engine. I am using now the sample engine. You see here different categories and different sounds that you can use. This is good. So I double click. So I have now this sound. 
This sounds already pretty cool. So it goes also into the filters. So I activate now the granular synthesizer. So, and I can then decide how many grains I want from it. I can uh, make different start positions. And I actually really like when the start position is changing all the time. And I go now to function two. I think it would be nice to have a little bit of a rhythmic modulation in here. So I go to my presets and I can say uh, rhythmic and let's see what happens. I have now my second sound and I will activate the first one so that I can blend this one in. That is really cool. So here you see modulator and with the modulator I can give an extra oscillator to the sound that I already have. This sort of... Ooh, this one is really nice. Good, so we have now the first two sounds and then we can use the utility. So in here in the utility engine, I have some noise. So I can activate the first one and this white noise. And I can decide if I want a little bit more of the white noise in there. I like this in filter one. I also want to modulate the volume a little bit and I can use also a function generator for that. So I can use this one. Now we have the synth sound and I would like to use some effects. So I go here to the effects section. Here I go to the effect bank one. I can use several effects with each other and I also can combine them. So the first thing I would like to do is to give some distortion. So I go here and distortion and I also can decide what kind of distortion and I would like to use a wave folder. So let's listen now. I like this and I uh, like also to give a little bit of movement here on the drive. So I go here in my LFO and I drag and drop it over here. So my next effect will be a delay. So I go here in the tape echo. And then my last one will be a reverb, but a reverb shimmer. The cool thing with the shimmer is that you can give a pitch shift over here. So now it's on 12, an octave above, but I can even go higher. So we can listen how that sounds. It's quite nice. I like 12, one octave above battle. So what is also really cool to do is to use the macros and then uh, you can assign the macros to a controller and then you can use one macro for all your effects. So I have my effects now set on a certain level that I like. I can assign a macro one to here the dry wet of one. This one is now open. I will close it and here you see the blue line and with the blue line I replace then how much the dry wet needs to open. So also macro one goes to the second one. I close this one and I can say go open like that. And I will do this also now for the third one. So macro one goes to the third. I close the dry wet and I open it again up in the position that I like. Now everything is closed on the effect. Like dry. And now I open it up. So I want to do the same now with my filters. So I go here to macro two, I place it on the filter and also on my second one. And the filter, I close a little bit more. So I do this as well with this one. And here I can adjust on how much the macro needs to open up on it maximum. I can do this also here. Now I can play around with the sound. So first effects. And now the filters. I 
I could spend days with this synth just creating sounds. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and got inspired to try it too. Let me know in the comments which synths you like to use and I see you next time. Bye.